Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fur video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the week ahead for today's fur video. So as always on a Saturday, we've got your detailed weekend book ahead. I shall get on that for you very shortly. Just say about the first video of today was our 7 a.m. forecast. Uh, we've also released the ECMWS slash six weeks look ahead. And we've got a 10 to 14 day out that will include all our great features for you later on this afternoon. Please like, share, subscribe on all of the videos. Thank you so much for doing that. The website's using full weekend forecast coming from the weatherout.com and weather essential.d you can find both websites on the links page right okay let's do it then we're going to start off and bring a picture from the weather outlook and we have had some heavy rain across parts of northern and western scotland in particular that rain struggling to make it across to eastern parts of scotland but a little bit of rain is possible there this afternoon also we've had wet weather through uh island that's pushing in towards northern Ireland. a few showery bursts mainly light uh rain across parts of west wales and uh, northwestern england further south and east about to be mostly dry uh, but there is a lot of cloud around uh, today. Here's a sort of pressure chart. So high pressure is reaching into the south from the continent. Low pressure, though, developing out of the Atlantic, bringing an increasing risk of rain to the northwest and some pretty strong winds, as indicated by relatively tightly packed ice bars. So through the rest of this afternoon, we'll find more wet weather across parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland, particularly for western areas. Very little rain making across the eastern Scotland, but a few drips and drabs are possible. That wet weather will become heavy and persistent, or is heavy and persistent, will remain heavy and persistent in the west of the northwest uh, this afternoon. So that wet weather will start to trickle down in towards northwest England, possibly north Wales by the end of the afternoon. Further south and east of that, we could have some light drizzly bits of pieces almost anywhere, but much of the Midlands, central, southern and eastern England will stay dry, albeit with quite a lot of cloud. Temperatures today will be ranging from around 7 to 14, so a degree or two up on uh, uh, yesterday and uh, not feeling as cold although with the wind and rain in the northwest you know, I suppose it will feel pretty miserable up there temperatures will be a little bit academic Overnight tonight, we'll find that uh, weather system pushing a little bit further eastward. So, again, have that heavy rain in the northwest. It will gradually spread in towards parts of northwest England, into Wales, possibly southwestern England as well by the end of the night. Again, becomes some quite heavy bursts mixed in. Probably turning clearer and uh, more showery across western parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland by the end of the night. And then again, that, that leaves much of the Midlands, central, southern, southeast England mainly dry. But again, quite slow cloud. Best of clear spells probably in the extreme southeast corner. Winds will become strong and gusty. In fact, they could reach out 50 miles an hour up the Irish Sea through the course night. So a pretty windy night in the west. But it will be milder. Temperatures will be ranging somewhere from around, say, 7 to uh, 12 degrees. So uh, a lot milder than it was last night. Tomorrow, Sunday, that weather system will push further eastwards, but will weaken as it does so. However, for a while, through the morning, there could be some very wet weather through parts of southwest Scotland, northwest England, and down into North Wales. We could be talking about um, over an inch of rain falling in some places, so quite torrential. But as that wet weather pushes further southeastwards into the Midlands, central, southern, southeast England during Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, it will weaken very significantly and very quickly. So uh, nothing more than a band of uh, showers, and they'll be relatively a few light showers as well, I think, pushing through the Midlands into the far southeast corner by the end of the day. Brighter skies will follow that band of rain to uh, Scotland and Northern Ireland, but there will still be blustery showers fed in on these uh, westerly winds. Temperatures tomorrow will be, again, a degree or so up on today, so probably ranging from around 8 to 15 degrees. But, of course, where we have the wind and rain, it won't feel particularly mild. Into Monday, we're into a uh, sunshine and showers type scenario. So any overnight rain will clear far south. It's gone up by the, by the end of the night on Sunday night into Monday morning. And then we're basically looking at the case of sunshine and showers. Many central and east areas will stay dry with sunny spells, just one or two showers pushing through. Most of the showers will tend to be in the north and the west. They could be quite heavy in places uh, out west as well. Temperature probably a degree down, uh, 7 to 14 degrees in those brisk westerly winds. Tuesday will bring higher pressure towards the south south east. Low pressure will be developing in the North Atlantic. Though. That will eventually bring a band of cloud and heavy rain to western Scotland and Northern Ireland. But much of the country will have a dry day on Tuesday. Probably a lot of sunshine through the morning. Maybe a chilly start, though. Um, and then cloud generally spreading in from the northwest. I think it's the best sunshine day in the southeast. Uh, and uh, northern central west areas will tend to turn cloudier 
as the day wears on. But most of the rain should be held at bay in the far northwest until the end of the day. The rain could be quite heavy though across West Scotland by evening. Temperatures on Tuesday, probably a little bit up again. So uh, I will think we're looking once more at around 8 to 15 degrees. And then we go through into Wednesday and weather system will turn really quite active in the north and west, gradually pushing south eastwards as well. But much of central, southern, south east England remains under that ridge of high pressure. So through the Midlands, southern England, East Anglia, south east England, again, we're going to mostly dry day on Wednesday, albeit with quite a bit of cloud and just limited bright sun. But go further north west, so we'll have some very wet weather. So Scotland and Northern Ireland will start off with some really heavy rain on Wednesday morning, and that will gradually transfer a little bit south eastwards in towards northwest England and uh, parts of Wales during the course of Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday evening. It comes some really wet weather in with that, like a couple of inches of rain definitely uh, possible. Despite the rain, at least it will be mild. Temperatures in the southeast probably reach around 17 degrees, way above average for the time of the year. That's into those sixes Fahrenheit. Of course, again, in the northwest, despite technically being in a uh, mild air mass, when we're under that wind and rain, it will feel a little bit on the cool side, probably. Uh, that rain again stuck in the northwest, in the northwest on Thursday, but the low pressure will be uh, deepening and starting to push eastwards as the day wears on. Once more, we're looking at another mostly dry day for southern, eastern, southeastern areas. Perhaps a little bit more morning where sunshine through the morning and then cloudy up through the afternoon. Wet weather, particularly in the west again. So Scotland, Ireland, northern, northwestern England, Wales, probably southwest England, will see increasingly heavy rain gradually pushing back in from off the Atlantic during the course of Thursday afternoon into Thursday evening. There could be some very wet weather in with that as well, driven in by a strong southwesterly wind. Temperature still very mild in the southeast, up to around 16 or 17 degrees cooler. Though we've got that wet weather in the northwest, especially as the rain clears, temperatures will start to fall away. Now, overnight on Thursday night, that wet weather will finally spread across the whole of the country, uh, leaving us in a showery regime through Friday. Day. So it turns very wet even in eastern areas on Thursday night. And that rain could take a little while to clear the east coast actually on Friday morning. But we'll eventually get away. And then we're left in a, in a run of uh, west southwest winds with sunshine and showers. Probably clouding up and turning wet across Ireland and southwest England again by the end of Friday afternoon. Temperatures uh, lower a little bit on Friday, despite more sunshine, uh, will be in a cooler uh, air mass. So temperatures will drop down to around, say, 6 to uh, 13 degrees. And then into next weekend, very unsettled. Really, this is Saturday, low pressure wrapping in both the Atlantic, uh, bringing plenty of rain, and that continues into Sunday as well. What you will notice, though, next weekend is that we bring up a remarkably mild, if not warm southwesterly wind and that's particularly for England and Wales so I would not be ruling out next weekend it's the final weekend of October 30th 31st remember I would not be ruling out temperatures reaching like 17 18 maybe even 19 degrees exceptionally mild uh, air coming up next weekend with that southwest wind but it will be moisture laden there will be a lot of rain and that will be particularly for more northern and western areas uh, once again that was in the detail with that, and we might even get some severe gale force winds as well. So uh, a lot, a lot to play for, a lot to keep an eye on uh, for next weekend. Maybe even a named storm. Who knows? I'll have to wait and see. Right, OK, just have a look at the charts and weather outlook then. So uh, today we're looking at a lot of dry weather uh, across the country, but it is quite cloudy in the rain, particularly in the north and west. Tomorrow, uh, again, we have a uh, band of uh, rain pushed south east, was turning very showery as it does so, leaving us with showers in the northwest and a lot of dry weather in the south and east. Into uh, Monday, again, what wet weather there is, you most of this week is going to be in the north and west. Very little rain getting into south and the south east. That carries on into Wednesday as well, going very mild by Wednesday. And then into Thursday and Friday, it does cool a little bit, and a band of rain sweeps across the country late Thursday into Friday, um, leaving us in, in a showery regime. And then we have more very mild temperatures and wet weather next weekend.
Right, so in summary, we're looking at a pretty mixed week, but having said that, many southern and eastern areas will actually have a relatively dry week. Most of the rain will tend to be out to the northwest until the end of week when the wet to weather gradually uh, transfers eastwards. Temperatures will be generally on the mild or very mild side and at times could be quite warm, particularly so in the south. Right, so that's your weekend forecast for uh, this week. We'll be back later on to 10 to 14 there. That's going to include all of the great features. Come back back then. Uh, but weekend forecast this week, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.